right, uh, it's United Cyphers Talks Over Games. I'm your host, Evan. With me, as always, is D-Heart. Say hello. Hello. That's right, internet tarantulas and slows. We're here playing EA slash id, not id, Epic. Yeah, Epic made Epic. this game. No longer existing, that studio. Very sad to say. Mainly because I actually want to see a sequel to this game. I did not really... I mean, I liked the first Gears of War. It was a technological masterpiece when it came out. It, you know, it, it revolutionized bulky football, football player like uh, uh, gun-toting guys, much like these guys you see here. But this game kind of takes that idea of space jock marine super killer, you know, uh, bubble head to a, a whole new extreme, and you've seen me, you know. This one actually play has it. interesting things that happen. In it. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Or that you're able to do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Let's just go ahead and go with Act Three, the Dam, and uh, let's see, a damn fine mess. That looks pretty good. This game is fun just because of the outlandishness of the script, which I thought was going to be really dude bro before I when I played the demo, and I'm like, oh man, I'm going to hate this. But then we got it for like next to nothing, and I started playing it, and it's over the top, and it's really funny. And I think the skill shots themselves are pretty rewarding, you know, like uh, when you figure out how to get them and when you chain them together, uh, just because the enemies are really hideous and obnoxious and oh shit, here we go. All I have to do in this is survive, which shouldn't be that hard. These bastards are just fucking everywhere. Oh, this is a time thing? Uh, yeah, I basically just have to get through this. I have to knock over a creep, try sliding into them. Okay. I think the creeps are those dudes that were up there with their with skin masks on, which is kind Death of skin. very slayer of them. <laughs> very slayerish of them. These guys are particularly tough enemies because you can't leash them. Which also ruins me trying to showcase some of the game's more interesting features. But I digress. This won't this won't be forever, and we don't have to show this the entire time. Uh, first of all, I have to find a way to get to get to killing all these guys without dying, because they're really chopping me up real bad. If you take cover, you notice in much in a Halo kind of fashion, you get your health back or your. Uh, Screen gets less red, and that's how you know you're not quite as dead. Didn't mean that to rhyme, I apologize, it just kind of happened out of Trying to go for a gag reflex there, couldn't quite get it, but it's cool. And I'm out of ammo, that's what you want to see. But luckily, see that thing that's shining over there? That is a upgrade station, and that's where I can buy ammo for all my weapons that I have, and also upgrade their capacity. and buy charge shots, which are really handy uh, because the charge shots and the upgrades for each one of these weapons are pretty deadly. Uh, this is actually one of my favorites here. Alright. So I've got a few weapons that I can change to now. For instance, this guy. Close one. <laughs> Alright. Use a thump attack. This is a good chance to show what the leash can do. Or I can just blow him up like that. The thumper is where you use the leash, you hold onto it, and then bang it down. Oh, look at him. Oh, <laughs> Mad environmental pinned, kill there. Pinned against the wall. Pinned against the ceiling, actually, if you want to get technical. Yeah, See, this is cool. You launch a flare gun at them, and then they just burn to death. Still in just a wall that got lost. I'm getting all kinds of mad combo kills here. Walls. You can actually chain a lot of these combo kills together. And once I survive this, uh, that's how you get mad points. What do the points do for you? Is uh, that your money? That's that's the money. Your experiment or your uh, experience. So I can slide into them and shoot the fuck out of the midair, which yeah. is a lot of fun. Which while is what you really want to do. While they're stage. up in the air, they can hurt you. <laughs> oh, headshot, fast draw. Look at me fucking these guys up all day long. It's actually not that difficult here. I survived the ambush. That means we can move out of this stupid and awful arena area. Let's see what's going on. Now, I will say the graphics in this game are pretty impressive, even though it's an older game. And a lot of people who are graphics whores, they might not think this game looks good. But for a game having crazy cartoony style and being done up in the epic engine, I think it looks great. I mean, 
even even though we got to set the 720p to make our capture a lot smoother it, it looks good to me I don't know about you but I mean this game is not hard on the eyes at least that's what I'm thinking and I'm kind of a graphics cool whore I like you know sophisticated looking PC games and the like at least more creeps I think so let's try the, let's try uh, charge shot on them and then a leash Oh, they don't like that. They really don't like that. Oh, shot his leg right off. Looks like you got him. Looks like I got all the motherfuckers. Oh, I've got this uh, charged up, and as soon as I unleash this, uh, whoever I shoot this at is not going to have a very good day. It's not going to be a nice day for them. Yeah, he's going to get it. There we go. I'm oh, quite a, a fan of that little hand cannon. It's basically like a flare gun, and when you shoot the motherfuckers with it, they explode. You've seen the effects of it just recently. Uh, you know, this game, this is, I think, one of the one of the most underrated games that Epic has ever produced, uh, personally. I think, I don't know, I had a lot more fun with it than I did Gears of War. I think maybe it's because the game doesn't really take itself that seriously. It's not, you know, like, oh, it's, oh, we gotta go down and save the world from, uh, from these fucking terrible, uh, aliens that are, that live underground and it's completely reductive of many other sci-fi stories. This game, I mean, doesn't have the most original story, but it knows that, and it kind of, it kind of goes along with that, being ridiculous, and I like ridiculous, uh, stories. Games don't always, games and movies don't always have to be the most serious fucking thing in the world, you know? When they do, it kind of, it can kind of ruin things. I mean, this game's almost like Ice Pirates, in a lot of ways, actually. It's similar to Ice Pirates. Your, your guy looks a little similar to... It has an Ice Pirates-y kind of vibe, to all the way around. Forward. Right? Yeah. And Ice Pirates, if you don't know, is a, is a classic sci-fi movie from the 70s. It's also very funny and over-the-top, and I would classify this game as being both of those things. It's space herpes. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's space herpes without all the itchiness and the uh, crazy nastiness. Do you know what Space Herpes is? It's an Ice Pirates reference. Yes, it is. And Hachi Machi. What a reference that is. <laughs> See how much man toast I can cook up this time. And by man toast, I mean kicking those guys into giant furnaces. Which they don't seem to enjoy. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Ha <laughs> Man toast. Alright, that's 500 points for me. Oh, shit. Why did it decide to load right there? Do not know why. Alright. Like you're good to go. Lock this motherfucker up real quick, and BOOM! He's dead! And I got his buddy, too. Afterburner, ha ha, that's clever. I like that. And I'm out of, ar out of armor. Out of ammo! Armor! <laughs> Weapons and armor. Fuck. Blue man. Yeah, I saw the guy creeping up on the right. Oh, this is intense. This, I mean, right now, you can get this game for Xbox for, like, what, like, five, ten bucks at GameStop? And I, I think to, this one was 10. Still worth it. I mean, well worth it. Well worth the price. It's like a roller coaster ride that you don't really want to get off of. And I quite enjoyed the and entire that, game. This one might have been high. I can't remember if this one or... I know I paid 15 for this and Brutal Legend. That's pretty cheap. And I definitely think they're worth it for that. Uh, particularly this one. I mean, I, I enjoy Brutal Legend, but it is definitely brutal. And I don't... And I have this penchant for playing games on hard, and I'm playing it on hard right now, and if you're, you know, decently versed at the shooting genre, you can get through these, get this game on hard pretty easily. Uh, at least I felt the difficulty wasn't that bad or, or rampy. But at the same time, um, it's definitely a challenge. It's not for the, the faint of heart. Whoa. Not for the faint of heart. Yeah. Well, this Use dude keeps, like, getting right in my fucking way. Oh, I'm gonna shoot you right in the testes, and then you get burnt alive. How do you like them apples, Cran Face? All right, uh, I should have said Cran apples, butt face. All right, I'm gonna skip this just uh, in interest of keeping the video inter inter bleh, interesting and to avoid spoilers. Oh yeah, I'm hanging out with this hot chick now who looks at me like I'm a veal, and she's really hungry, fat chick. Even though she's not fat at all. She's telling you not fat, guys, not fat at all. We got the whoa. We got lots of. Uh, oh yeah, the two yeah, uh, factions on this planet that um, I was sent to blow up, I believe. They they're fighting and come on, 
Come on, let's go. Let's get this over with. I want to shoot stuff. What were you going to say there, buddy? I was getting ready to ask if this was a, a d another planet or if it was an Earth future. Uh, it's a place some corporation wanted us to blow up and uh, so they could repopulate it with uh, their rich fucking asshole friends. You know, the typical uh, story for this kind of stuff. Well, not typical. That's atypical, I'd say. But, uh... I don't know. Gotta repopulate, man! Yeah, repopulate with rich bastards, as if rich bastards didn't have enough uh, easy goings. What are you doing there? Checking the, yeah. the audio? Well, it's definitely going. It hasn't stopped going. Thanks for walking in front of the screen, by the way. Sorry. Uh, it's okay. Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, fuck. I switched to the sniper rifle. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I forgot the sniper rifle. The bullets can be controlled midair. Which is kind of like Atari football, but like Atari football where dudes' heads explode. And I can totally get behind that kind of Atari football. The kind of Atari football that's never existed. <laughs> See, I can control the bullet, and they'll try to dodge it, but you can still get them. Oh, yeah! That's right. <laughs> Hey, I want you to just look this uh, this way when there's a dude turning, coming up right behind you, you dumb bastard. <laughs> and I think you can do like repeat shots once you've uh, got them tumbling backwards in time and space. Hey, I learned that. I remember this. Oh yeah, I can leash these guys, I believe. Yep. See, leashing is my favorite mechanic. Oh, I shot that dude in half <laughs> just now. And his leg right clean off. You can only leash at a certain distance, which is kind of a drag. But uh, let's just get up close and personal, and then we'll uh, start worrying about who gets leashed to who. Uh, now, you notice there's a big bunch of barbed wire here in front of me. Interestingly enough, I could leash one of these motherfuckers right into it, and he probably won't like that. Oh, he sure didn't. Oh, and then I blew up the hot dog stand from hell. And I got this guy in midair, and I'm going to... Well, oh, Cyborg Buddy got in the way, but it's okay. Now he's dead. Just the whole thing of being able to leash them. Oh, he's a heavy, so he takes a lot of hits. He won't take. Uh, he won't take too kindly to the uh, to, <laughs> to the barbed wire. We don't take kindly to being thrown and kicked in the barbed wire in midair and being shot in the testes. Now, do we? <laughs> we don't take kindly to folks who don't take kindly around to barbed wire. We don't take kindly to folks who don't take kindly to being tossed in the barbed wire with go giant goddamn electro leashes. Now, do we? Shit. Okay, just her. All right. Let's see here. Got some more. Uh, Oh, Fuckers yeah, to shoot. Another big fatty here. What's up, fatty to fatty bobats? Boom! 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 Are we still alive? That's right. Let's try this again. You know, lots of people survive when you shoot them in the face. <laughs> well, he's got the... He's got the... Uh, he has the ammo on... Or the ammo. God damn it. Confusing yet again, ammo and armor. He's got the armor on, so I had to... Uh, <laughs> Kick that right in that lady's face. I had to uh, yank off. His, oh god, that sounds bad. I had to rip off his armor with my uh, with my claw thing, with my leash, and then I got to uh, shoot him right in the face and our balls. Tune in next time on Talk Star Games, where we'll have a special. Uh, we're gonna play a game to its completion. Don't know what it's gonna be. You just have to tune in to find out. Oh, that's pretty rough. Uh, well, I uh, got any final parting words, D-Heart, for the internet at large? Yeah, fuck off for now. Alright, and, uh, I'd like to say... Buy PC games. PC games are way cooler than console games. See ya. <laughs>